So as ever, I'm a bugger for selling a radio and then buying it back, and that's what I've done with the uh, Bretavis RT3S. It's just a great, solid performer uh, for dual band uh, DMR radio. M0FXB just um, got me RT3S. I've had this radio before. I sold it and uh, missed it, so I just bought another one back. Luckily, got this one second hand, but you can get these from China for fifty pound. It's basically a dual band DMR radio, um, and uh, they just work great. So here it is. Just took it out the box. Just gonna get the battery back in. Um, just clips in like so. Get the antenna on there. Like one thing I do like about the RT3S, nice chunky antenna. We've got the charging lead here. I've already got the co plug, um, which is uh, a co plug that I just put together from what I actually use myself. It's not one off the net. It started blank, and then I added lo all the local repeaters, some simplex channels, PMR channels. Um, and uh, the reflectors and I use like Talk Group 91 and 235 and things like that. Um, so there's my charger, there's my power lead. Um, at the moment, it's the old co plug in here. So let's see if the thing even turns on. Yeah, so that's what's in there from before. Bit of charge in there, which helps. But they're nice and loud, these. Nice loud set. Very senior, simple menu structure. There's your A and B. Right, let's get a co plug in it and um, let's uh, fire it up. Right, it's plugged into the PC. There's the cable in the side. Got some software running here, but it's actually for America Link. Um, which is the wires X offer on the FTM 300. There's the 5 100, and that's on one of my Pistar hotspots, jumbo spots. But we've also got um, a little blue DV running here, not connected to anything yet. Anyway, let's just quickly fire up the um, Retavis co-plug which I loaded up yesterday and now I can't find it right here it is double click so there there's your usual now with a bit of luck we can just send it straight to the radio as I've already connected everything that's not my code plug so we'll go file open there it is there. I put it in a file on my desktop. Right. So if we look at all the channels, there they all are, loads of things. And we've got zones. So I've done Brandmeister, FM repeaters, TGIF, and I've got all my different hotspots in there. Let's see if that will load to the radio. So we'll click send get this little window right to data to radio click ok uh, if it doesn't work i'll have to check my um usb right well that's going in let's go and look at the radio <coughs> that's going in good so we'll be able to turn it on in a set we'll get it on probably on talk group 91 for a test Passing the anything followed. So, yeah, back you on that one, and then we've uh, uh, wish you all the best. Have a great day. GW4KF back to Mike 04KX Bravo. Yeah, very good, uh, very good morning to you, John. Hope you're well. Good to catch you. Yeah, I'm just setting up a uh, and a, um, a Retivis RT3S dual bander 
I only uh, paid £45 for it, so I've had all the code plugs and everything ready, so just a matter of taking it out of the box and um, putting it together. And and of course, the the DMR radios always sound so good, don't they? It's nice and loud, and it's a, it's a, it's a clone of the MD380, but it's uh, a dual-band version. So yeah, a bit muggy here in Weston, uh, but enjoying a cup of tea and playing a bit of radio, John. Back to you. Only across the pond, across the river, isn't it? That's the city I used to see over the West End. But I regularly used to just shoot over there for a run from Cardiff and then back. <laughs> uh, when we uh, wanted to kill another one or two. Uh, yeah, fine, okay, yes. Uh, you always hear that uh, the, the equipment's working quite well there. Uh, yeah, which... so I had to uh, upgrade the firmware so that it accepts a bigger CSV file. Seems to be working. To put it in firmware, firmware upgrade mode, you hold the PTT and the button above it down. So we now selected um, Oh, it's actually doing it now, look. And that is we are writing contacts to the radio. You do have to have the latest version of the firmware that accepts adding more contacts, and that's what's happening now. Well, seems to be working fine. Got all load of contacts on there. We've got the latest firmware on there. It's just a great, um, cheap, but good quality. DMR radio, M0FXB73.